Hey Queens, welcome back to my channel, The Holistic Boss. This is Coach Renee, your holistic health and wellness strategist. Today's video is going, I'm going to show you how to make some lentil soup, lentil vegetable soup. And it is lentils are full of protein and potassium and good vitamins. So when it's a cold day or you just want something light, turn to lentil bean soup all right so you can either buy your lentils in a package like this make sure it's bpa free or you can buy your lentils in the bulk section of your local grocery store or whole foods market your healthy market wherever that might be so I'm going to get, I'm going to jump right into it. I hope you all are well. I've been away on vacation for the past three weeks and I was away from technology for a few days. So I'm going to talk about that in another video, how you need to take a technology break. But today's video is all about how to make some lentil soup. So let's go. All right. First thing first, first things first. You want to have your water boiling because you want your water hot. So you want to turn the water on. Then you want, I'm using my, my razor today for this lentil soup. So I turned on the heat to heat it up a little bit. I got the oil in here, the olive oil already. So, uh, cause I want to put in my onions and my red bell peppers first. That's what I'll be doing first. And we're going to turn this heat down just a little bit because I don't want the oil to get too hot. So I'm going to chop up my red or purple onions, actually, my purple onions. I'm using purple onions today, purple onions. So they don't have to be super small chopped up, but I'm just going to chop those up a bit and probably put the top on it so I don't get burned. So we're going to let that simmer a little bit after we get all the onions and the bell peppers and garlic in here. So this is some healthy, a delicious little bean soup. And we will go through this process. And these red bell peppers so they can all be together and make a nice flavor when you get all of your remember I said the rainbow fruits and vegetables so we got colors beautiful colors so that's chopped up this little bit now I am going to put my garlic in here and I'm going to have some crushed garlic, right? Crushed garlic. Crushed garlic. So my fresh crushed garlic, I'm going to add that to my onions and my red bell peppers and I'm gonna let that let that simmer for a, a bit before I add the lentils. Now the lentils you don't have to rinse but I mean I'm sorry you don't have to wash or soak these. You can soak them for a few hours you don't have to but I normally rinse them because you should rinse them to get make sure there's no debris in there you know sometimes debris gets in there so um, I have a half of a bag left, so I'm going to place them in my strainer, place the lentils in my strainer, and I'm going to give them a quick rinse, not with the faucet water, unless you have a filter on your water. So I'm using fresh distilled water to rinse these, give them a good rinse. Now that these are rinsed, what 
I'm going to do is I'm going to add my lentils, my rinsed lentils, to my bell peppers, my onions, and my garlic. And I'm going to let that cook for probably about maybe five minutes before I start adding my other green vegetables to this amazing lentil soup. All right? So we don't want the we don't want the onions and the garlic to burn. We just wanted to cook with all the flavors to give it the flavors, right? Actually, you know what I'm gonna do? Before I add the lentils, I'm going to add I want to add some carrots and some celery so all that flavor will cook in together. So I've chopped up, I've already chopped up some celery and some carrots. The carrots will give it a nice sweet flavor and again you want to make sure that you wash all of your vegetables. So and remember I said you want to think of the rainbow when you're cooking, when you're eating. Always think of the rainbow with the beautiful different colors. All right, so I'm gonna add some celery and the carrot to this beautiful dish. Can you see that? Just gonna let that simmer together. So all the flavors from the celery, the carrots, the garlic, the onions and the bell peppers can cook and simmer together. Let's just pour all of that in there. Well, actually, it's too much celery. I don't want to put all the celery in there. I think I have more than enough celery and carrots, right? So let's let that simmer for a bit. Put the top back on, and that's going to simmer a bit before I put the lentils in there. So while that's simmering, I'm going to cut up some kale and some parsley and put it in the lentils. Once I put the lentils inside of the simmering onions, garlic, carrots, celery, Parse, um, garlic. Once all that simmers together, then I'll put the lentils on top and then add the kale and the parsley. So I'm going to cut up the kale right now and I'm using a vegetable cutters. If any of you don't know about these, these are some amazing cutters to cut up your, your veggies um, if you don't want to use a knife. Sometimes I use a knife, sometimes I use the vegetable cutter and you just chop them up real small or however big you want them. When I'm making soup, I like to ch I like to um, chop up, cut up my kale, lettuce, whatever I'm gonna use to smaller pieces, and it works better for me, right? So I'm just chopping that up like so. You can see me chopping that. Amazing vegetable cutters. You can use this to chop up. Pretty much any vegetable, maybe not carrots. Carrots is a, may have to use a knife for your carrots, but you know, leafy greens you can use the cutters, the vegetable cutters for, right? When you cook as much as I do, you learn some of the tricks of the trade um, to make things a bit easier for you. So this amazing kale is going to Cook inside in the lentils and give it more flavor. You have the added vitamins and nutrients and minerals. The kale is amazing. You can get all of your vitamins, all of your nutrients and uh, minerals with this kale. So this is a vegetable lentil soup. And there's plenty of options that you can, you know, um, add to your lentil soup when you're making it, but this is pretty much, I covered every vitamin, nutrient, 
mineral that I can possibly think of. We have fiber, lentils is full of fiber and protein, as well as potassium, and we know that the carrots has a lot of uh, good beta carotene, it's good for the eye health, and it's lots of vitamin A in there. And I'm going to add some, I'm going to add some, also add some dandelion greens, dandelion greens. So once this lentil soup is, is cooked and done, you have all of the vitamins and nutrients that your body needs. So I'm going to chop up some dandelion greens. Full of, um, just full of nutrients, full of vitamin, lots of vitamin K, just like kale. So pretty much all of these leafy greens, when you talk about kale, dandelion greens, they're all full of vitamin K, vitamin C. It's good for the immune system, it's good for uh, your digestive tract, it's good for losing weight, dropping weight naturally, it's good all of these things is good for your immune, your immunity, your overall health and well-being, right? And here we are with some parsley, parsley leaves. All of this is fresh. All of these ingredients are fresh, organic, right? Fresh and organic. Even the lentils. Let's see how, let's see how our little vegetable medley is doing nice, beautiful. Okay, so that's simmering along pretty well. I am, right now, I'm going to add some, even though I use fresh garlic, I'm going to add some garlic granules to this. Give it some extra flavor. I'm also going to add some pepper. Some black pepper. Black pepper. Pepper's good for the system as well. So, and a tad bit of salt, sea salt. A tad bit of sea salt. All righty. So let's let's give that another stir. Mix all those seasonings in. Remember, when you're cooking, when I'm cooking, I always think about what is going to feed my body, what is going to combat my body from outside environmental toxins, what's going to help inflammation, what's go, what, what are good antioxidants, where can I get my fiber to help me uh, flush out the toxins that are in my body. So these are things that I always think about when I'm making uh, breakfast, lunch, or dinner, or even drinking a smoothie or drinking a juice. So we want to think about what can we do to fight whatever, whether it's inflammation. Um, you know, a lot of us may have, a lot of you may have joint pain, um, which is nothing but inflammation. So these are some of the things that you can do to get that inflammation outside of your body. Move it out, you know, through urine or pooping, you know. So those are the things that you can do right okay so i'm going next i want to i'm not going to put a whole lot of um parsley in here but i just wanted to give it some flavor and get the the vitamins and nutrients from this parsley taking it off i'm taking it off of the limbs right the stems right okay so now what I want to do is add the lentils. Okay, I want to add the lentils. Now, if you can see this. Let's bring this a little closer so you can see it. So you can see how that's cooking. Um, let's see. 
Can you see that beautiful? All right, bring that a little closer. And I am going to now add the lentils, like I said. Take me off here. There we go. You know how we maneuver these cam these cameras. All right, so my lentils have strained. They've been rinsed, right? So I'm going to add the lentils. Okay. And let's give these a stir. So you want your, your lentils, now it could be 45 minutes before the lentils, you know, if you like them coarse, if you like them soft, me personally, I like my, <laughs> I don't like to chew on anything coarse, so I like my lentils a bit soft so I can enjoy them more. Isn't that beautiful? That is so beautiful. I just love when I see different colors of food cooking it, knowing that it's going to go inside of the body to feed the body well. All right, so next what I want to do is I want to add the water before I add my kale and parsley. I want to add the water because I'm not trying to cook down the kale and parsley. I just wanted to add, give it flavor inside of the lentil beans while they're cooking. So let me get my hand mittens so I don't burn myself. So the water is boiling. You wanna make sure your water is boiling already before you put it inside this beautiful stir lentil soup, right? That's what's going to make it soup. So here we go. And you want to cover, make sure that the water is covering the soup. I mean, I'm sorry. Make sure the water is covering the lentils and the vegetables, right? Because you want all the flavor to mix in together. Oh, that's gorgeous. All right, so now what I want to do, you can see that. I'm going to turn it up some. So we can have a nice, consistent cook, nice consistency. So now I will go ahead and I will add the kale and the parsley. And about time the kale is done, or the lentil soup is done, by the time the lentil soup is done, the kale is going to be nice and tender. So all the uh, seasonings, the flavors from the vegetables, uh, the onions, the garlic, the carrots, everything is gonna blend in together. So this is gonna probably cook about, I would say a good 45 minutes. Shouldn't take longer than 45 minutes. Beautiful that is. Can you see that? This is what the mental vegetable soup. And it's going to cook down. And there you have it. So let's wait till that cook. It's going to be about 45 minutes before that's done. And we will come back and test it out and see what it tastes like. So one thing I, I meant to add was turmeric, uh, tum some turmeric. Turmeric is good to, it helps fight inflammation in the body. You know, when you have joint pain or arthritis, it's good for that. Uh, so I'm going to put like a half a teaspoon of turmeric, add that to this amazing, delicious lentil vegetable soup. And I'm going to give that a stir. 
So far, it looks amazing. All these beautiful colors that are inside this delicious lentil soup, and you can, you know, cook enough for one. You can cook enough for your family, however many is in your family. If you have a large family, you probably want to use the whole bag. Uh, if it's just you, single, or two people, you might want to just use a half of a bag, all right? So that's, while that's cooking, I'll let that continue to cook and see what the amazing results are once that is all done a cooking. If you have not already subscribed to my channel, The Holistic Boss, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. And while you're there, hit the notification bell so you will be notified every time I upload a new video or new content so you don't miss out on anything. And if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. And welcome, welcome to the Holistic Bosses community. So as we wait for this delicious lentil vegetable soup to finish stirring up, stewing up, just hang tight and we will taste it shortly. But I want to say again that I am so grateful that you have subscribed to my channel. Thank you for doing that. You will learn a lot of, I will be sharing a lot of tasty tips, tools, and resources that you can begin using, implementing to amplify your health and well-being to the next level of your life that will provide you with energy, nourishing, nourishment to your, your mind, your body, and soul. This, would, this is what my channel is all about, is to help you nourish your mind, your body, and your soul, because we can't nourish one part of our body without the other. You know, we want to survive, we want to thrive as opposed to surviving in our lives, right? We want to naturally lose weight, we want to balance our hormones, and we want to strengthen our muscles and our bones. And we do that by eating healthy, healthier foods, changing our mindset, changing our unhealthy habits to healthier habits. And it doesn't happen overnight, it takes time, right? For all this to take place. So be patient with yourself, love on yourself, start practicing more self-care, getting the proper rest, getting the proper foods, having a healthier um, mindset, also your circle of influence, make sure that they are healthy, that they are uplifting you, and you are uplifting them. That's what living holistic is all about changing from the conventional way of living to the holistic way of life, right? You will be happier, healthier, and all of that will start to take place once you begin implementing these tasty tips and tools that I am sharing with you on a weekly basis. All right, beautiful? All right, so until next time, this is Coach Renee, your holistic health and wellness strategist, bringing to you healthy, everything every single week so stay tuned and let's see what this lentil vegetable soup is going to taste like it's going to i know it's going to taste amazing so i will show you that momentarily so i'm checking in on the soup the lentil soup to see how it's doing and really the soup you really want it to so it looked like soup, but so when it's, when the water has boiled down, you want to add some more hot water because it really is supposed to be a soup and not like a, you know, looking like the water is dried out. So I'm going to add some more water, hot water, and also I'm going to add uh, some pink Himalayan salt because it needs a little more flavor to me. So I'm just going to add... Um, some Himalayan salt. Himalayan salt is good for you. Give it a different flavor. Okay, pink Himalayan salt. 
it's all natural. You can find this in your um, Whole Foods Market, your local grocery store. If you have a hard time finding it, ask your local grocer and he or she will be happy to assist you. So let's add some more boiling water to this because we want this to be a soup, right? And so soups are what? Soupy, liquidy, right? So we need some more water in there. Here we go. Now it's got more room for the flavors to mix together. So see how liquidy, liquidy that is? It's more liquid. See if you can see that. See, it's more liquid now. So we want that to be, it's a soup. So it's supposed to be soupy. and let that finish cooking for a few more minutes. Then we will come back and test it out. We'll test it out in a few moments. All right, let's test this lento vegetable soup. Let's test it. Let's test this beauty. Because I am feeding for some lento vegetable soup, right? All right, dear God, thank you so much for this amazing meal that I'm about to feed your body. Help it to nourish, help this body to thrive with all the vitamins and the nutrients and the minerals that's within this soup. In your holy name, God, I say thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Let's test it. It's nice and hot. Nice and hot. Nice and hot. Nice and hot. It's nice and hot. Ooh, see the steam. So I placed, I've moved my soup off of the burner so it can now stop cooking. And bon appetit. Mmm. Mmm, 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 mmm. This is amazingly good. You can have this for breakfast, lunch, or dinner. There's no timetable on what you can have for breakfast, lunch, or dinner. This is a filling vegetable lentil soup. Filling lentil vegetable soup, and it is amazingly good. Amazing. All right. There you have it. Beautiful queens. Bon appetit. Good. Mm -mm, good. All right. Until next time, this is Coach Renee coming to you every single week. This is a lentil vegetable soup that I showed you how to make. Take care. Until next time, stay healthy, happy, and whole. Bye-bye. I forgot to tell you something. I added a tiny bit of cayenne, cayenne, cayenne pepper, cayenne pepper at the end. And it is hot, spicy hot. All right, beautiful. Take care. Bye-bye.